Hello and welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn two actions as part of Blue Prism Excel automation. One, find next empty cell. Another one, select action. Before going to start with these actions, you may ask, we are already having four different actions we have learned in our previous sections, but why again we are going to use another action, find next empty cell action. Let's recap about the previous session once. If you see in our previous tutorial, we have learned about four actions. One is go to next empty cell down, go to next empty cell up. And after that, we have seen go to next empty cell right and left directions, right? So what is the purpose of the four actions? By using these actions, we can navigate to any direction like up, down right and left and then we can find it out the empty cells which are next to that particular active cell very easily and now we are going to learn about another action that is find next empty cell so what we can do by using this action we can satisfy the the four actions in a such a way in all the directions as well as we can activate the cell by using find next empty cell action let me show you that so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this action over here from the canvas and then I'm going to drag and drop another action on, onto the canvas. Now let's change the properties. Now I'm going to select business object as MS Excel VBO and the action I'm going to use find next empty cell. Before going to learn about these inputs, let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, by using four actions, that is go to next empty cell, down, up, right, and left, we have identified the empty cells, right? But in the same way, we can use find next empty cell also over here. If you see, I'm going to select A1 as cell reference. If you see, if I am having any empty cells downside, then I will get the A5 as the empty cell. And if you have any right and left and up and down, you can find it. Along with that, you can activate the cell which is empty. In a such a way, right now, if you see A1 is my active cell, and if you found empty cell as A5, and then you want to set it as active, in that case, that you can go ahead and you can activate the cell over there immediately by using find next empty cell. But this kind of feature or input we don't have in the actions by using go to next empty cell, down, up, right, and left. All right. Along with that, you can see over here for each and every direction, we are having one action. But over here, it is a club of four actions to make, uh, you know, to go to the next empty cell. All right. Let me show you that over here. You can see first the input is handle. So what is the handle? We are already seen multiple times this handle value and the direction. You can see over here, the direction you will give it as over here, like up down right and left now in my case i'm going to use down over here i will show you why it is okay and once you have found the empty cell and you want to activate it or not so if you are going to activate it you have to give it as true over here if you don't want to activate that cell in that case you are going to give it as false it's a flag over here and once you have found it the empty cell that you want to store the cell reference somewhere where I need to store it, I want to store it in the cell reference. I'm going to give it the value as empty cell reference. All right, let me click on store in so that it will store in the value in the data item as empty cell reference. All right, now let me click on OK. Now over here, what it will do when I'm having the active cell below that one, the downside of that column, it will check if there any empty value, empty cells out there or not. All right, now let me show you that. Let me link from open workbook to find next empty cell from there to close workbook. I'm not going to use set cell value right now. Okay, I'm directly going to close the workbook and then I'm going to close the instance. All right, now if you see my active cell is A1 right now. Okay, now let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started open workbook has been executing and then you can see find next empty cell you can see the cell reference over here as a5 now let's open the output now if you see over here previously 
my active cell is A1. Right now, the active cell is A5. Because of in our action that is find next empty cell, we are making it activate cell as true. That's the reason it has been activated. And after that, if you see the output over here as cell reference, we got the cell reference as A5 because we have given the direction as down. All right. Now, we'll talk about the direction up. Okay. Now, let me change the properties over here. And I'm going to give the value as up. Okay. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, if you see my active cell, I'm changing back to A1. And then we will know which is the active right now. Let's run the process to see the output. But manually, if you observe, I'm having A1 cell so that what will happen, I don't have any active cells on the top of that one, right? So that it will throw an error. But the reason is that if you see the error could not execute the code stage because exception has been thrown to the code stage. The reason is that you have given the set cell value active cell as true. So I don't have any cells on the you know direction of up and then still you have made it as to make it as active cell as true. That's the reason it has been throwing an error over there as code stage has been failed. Now to make you understand what I'm doing active cell I'm going to make it as blank and then I'm going to click on OK. Now let's run the process to see the output once again. Now if you see the find next empty cell will execute successfully and then you don't have any empty cell reference because of even is the starting cell that we have right and in the same way we can make it in all the directions like we can make it up down left right and then we can activate the cell by using activate cell as true or false all right now we have seen how to find the next empty cell by using find next empty cell action now if you see over here every time that i'm going to select one of the active cell and then i'm going to making them as active cell right that is manually i'm going to do that is there a way to activate the cell automatically or by using blue prism automation yes there it is there we are having one more action called select select is the action where you can activate the cell reference by using automation now let's drag and drop another action onto the canvas now i'm going to change the properties of the action now if you see business object i'm going to select ms excel vbo and the action if you see i'm having select is the action that what we have select that now if you see the inputs over here i'm having the common inputs over here as handle workbook worksheet and then cell reference over here the main thing is the cell reference which cell you want to activate it or which cell you want to select as activate all right i'm going to give the handle value as handle and the workbook name i'm going to give it the workbook name as workbook name and the worksheet I have not stored anywhere so that I'm going to give it as employees because of in my workbook I'm having worksheet as employees and then I'm going to give the cell reference whatever the cell you want I will give you as C4 for the time being to make you understand and then if you see the output I don't have any outputs over here let's click on OK now what I'm going to do first I'm going to activate the cell C4 and then based on that if you see over here C4 this is the C4, right? From here, what is the up direction that I have? I'm having empty cell as C3 that I need to get it. Okay, manually, I'm not going to activate that C4, but by using Blue Prism Excel automation actions that I'm going to activate that cell and then I'm going to find the empty cell over here. Now, in that empty cell, I'm going to set some value over here. As an additional action, I'm going to set the value. Let's see that. Now, if you see in the cell reference, what are the cell reference that we have that cell reference i'm going to give the value as chennai over here i'm going to give the cell reference over here as empty cell reference value all right now let's click on okay so that after finding the next empty cell it is going to give the value default value as chennai over there and then it will close the workbook all right now let's link from open workbook to select action from select action to find next empty cell from there to set cell value and then I'm going to 
close the workbook and then closing the instance and finally we are going to end it. Let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. First, it will select the cell reference as C4 and then if you can see over here, find next empty cell in the direction of up we have given so that it is having C3 and the value will be stored What in the C3 cell reference, the value has been given as Chennai by using set cell value action. Now let me show you the output over here in the Excel. Now if you see over here, what is the value that we have in the C3? Previously we had empty cell over here. Now it has given the value as Chennai over here. And then you can see the reference cell reference as C3 what we got it by using find next empty cell action. I hope you understand how to work with find next empty cell action. And also we have seen how to work with select action. And additionally, we have seen how to set a value in the particular cell by using set cell value. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.